Now, because this channel is geared towards gentlemen of a certain age, I think it's appropriate to, I guess every once in a while, talk about more mature subject matter like wine, whiskey, cigars, and of course, sex. We don't talk about this stuff all the time, but you and I, as men, who are navigating through this chunk of years, which should be some of the best years of our lives, I mean, life is about more than just clothes. For me, it's about the experiences I have and the people that I have them with. And I've mentioned this before, and I was even talking about it just this past weekend with some friends that were in from out of town, and they were talking about taking a cruise. And while I've got my own opinions about cruising after going on several, I mentioned that they might consider spending a little bit more for a nicer cabin with a balcony instead of one of those inside cabins. Now, I don't know if you've ever been on a cruise, but the rooms they advertise with the really super low rates are inside cabins without any windows and they're very, very tiny. So if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, that could ruin the experience. So personally, if I can swing it, I will absolutely always try to book a nicer room or Airbnb or whatever it might be. And don't get it sideways because I'm not made of money, but I've got no problem spending a little bit more to ensure a better experience because those experiences are the things that I remember. Anyway, so what does all this have to do with cigars? So let me bring it all back because having a cigar either by yourself or with friends is one of those experiences and simple pleasures that can lead to great conversations and a memorable time. So let's get into some cigar basics for beginners. And look, please understand that I am by no means a cigar aficionado. I just really enjoy having a cigar on occasion with a nice glass of wine or whiskey after a long day. So these are a few basic things that I've learned over the last couple of months that might help you. And since we're talking about cigars today, La Aurora was gracious enough to sponsor this video. And if you're not familiar, La Aurora was founded in 1903 with only six employees. And as their business grew, they remained true to their Dominican roots and family traditions by giving back through charitable initiatives, social responsibility programs, and of course, job creation. La Aurora is one of the top employers in the Northern region of the Dominican Republic. La Aurora has now expanded into five continents, bringing their distinct taste of the Dominican Republic to 60 countries. Masterful blends, impeccable construction, and meticulous attention to detail elevate La Aurora over other brands. The 107 Nicaragua is the most recent addition to their long line of premium cigars and was selected as one of Cigar Snob's top 25 cigars of 2020. The sampler packs and cigar accessories make a great gift for yourself or for that person who's hard to shop for. Shop now with free shipping available in 43 states for a limited time. Click on that link in the description and shop for some terrific cigars from La Aurora that you will love. Thank you La Aurora Cigars for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. Okay, first up is cutting. And there's a few different ways that you can do this, like straight cuts, V cuts, or punch cuts. But since I've only got one of these little two blade cutters, we'll talk about doing straight cuts. So when you cut your cigar, don't cut too much off the top, otherwise it'll start to come unraveled. There's a little leaf right here on the top and that's the cap. You only wanna cut a little bit right off the tip. Again, if you cut too much, it'll start to come unraveled and you'll have tobacco in your mouth and all sorts of other issues that you don't want. So again, just cut the tip. Now there are better cutters that have a little backstop built in, so they take most of the guesswork out, right? So then at that point, there's really no way to insert it too far and cut off too much. And on these little figurados, the ones that look like little torpedoes, just take about a quarter inch off the tip and you're good. Okay, moving on to lighting. When you light your cigar, it's best to hold the flame right here at the end and then rotate your cigar to toast it. This will light your cigar. You don't need to puff on it to light it. And puffing on it is essentially just sucking the flame further inside and that tends to burn and overheat the inside of your cigar. Toasting it first will generally lead to a better tasting cigar. And also really quick, one thing that I might suggest, if you tend to get a little queasy when you have a cigar, have your cigar after you eat. Having food in your stomach helps reduce that funny, uneasy feeling that some people can get. Next, have you ever had a cigar and it keeps going out? So that happened to me several different times and I never really understood why. So here's the deal. First of all, a cigar is not like a cigarette and if it is not puffed on, it can go out. It could also be overhumidified and too wet because if you think about it, wet leaves don't burn very well. Also, your cigar might be rolled improperly, but in my case, I just wasn't puffing on it enough. 
Try for about two to three draws per minute as a general rule and you should be good. But if it goes out, it's frustrating, just relight it. Okay, and also worth noting, the first third of your cigar is a little different experience than the last third. Now, the longer this cigar is, it's a cooler smoke initially. And if your cigar starts to taste kind of bitter towards the second half, it could be that you're just puffing on it too aggressively and overheating it. The key is long, consistent draws at the rate of about two to three per minute, like I mentioned earlier. There's no need to just puff on these things super aggressively like you see in the movies. Now, if you're storing your cigars for a period of time, you should have a good humidor and a general rule is to keep the humidity level between 65 or 70% and your temperature somewhere around 65 to 68 degrees. And if you're not storing many cigars for a long period of time, these humidifier bags with these little Boveda pouches are a pretty simple solution. You can get these on Amazon for a pretty reasonable price and they last a long time. And lastly, if you don't like the cigar you're smoking, don't smash it like you would with a cigarette because it's gonna smoke like crazy and make a huge mess. Just set it down in the ashtray and let it die on its own. No big deal. So listen, if you made it this far, it would mean a lot to me if you could just take a second and hit that like button because it really does help. And with that, my friends, as always, thank you for watching, live well, and I'll see you in the next one.